In this video, I'm going to show you how to transition from a limited earning structure in your business to an unlimited earning structure. And I'm going to do this by showing you a real life case study of how a picture framer who was struggling for many years because his business was not set up correctly, made a few simple structural changes and boosted his sales by an additional $25,000 a month after just six months. So let's take a look at how this happened. Here's what happens in most businesses. The owner has an idea and creates a product or service and they sell it. The owner then has to do the advertising, selling, making the product, quoting, doing the job, etc. For example, if you are a plumber, the plumber advertises, takes the sales call, goes to the call out, assesses the job, does the quote, and if they get the job, then they go out and do the work. If you are a doctor, you see the patient, do the operation or the procedure. If you are an accountant, you do the sales pitch to get your new client, and then you begin work on your client's file. This is standard business. This is how 96% of businesses are set up or structured. So, what is wrong with this and why does it cause cash flow problems, stress, burnout and limited profits? The answer is structure. The business is structured wrong. It has a limited earning structure. Here are the two problems with this limited earning structure. Number one, the entire business is dependent on the owner and their time. What does this mean? It means the owner must be present at all times, otherwise the business does not make any money. If they stop working, get sick, go on holiday, the business stops making money. In the structure, if the owner is not present, the business makes no money. 2. The owner has a single revenue stream. So while the plumber is working on a job, or the accountant is working on their client's file, or the doctor is operating or consulting, they are not earning money. So here's the big secret. The money is made at the point of transaction. When the plumber does the sale, when the doctor books in the appointment, when the accountant signs up the client, it is at this point that the money is made. The money is not made when the plumber, doctor or accountant are actually on the tools. An easier way to look at this structural problem is thinking of someone swiping a credit card through the terminal or handing over cash at the register or doing a bank transfer. This is called the point of transaction. This is the only time money is made. No money is made working on the tools because the sale is already done. This is called a limited earning structure. The business owner is exchanging time for money. And so when the business grows, you can see why stress kicks in, overload happens, burnout kicks in, profits have ceilings, and therefore limits because there is only one owner trying to do all of this. Everything is strapped to the owner. So how do you fix this? Let's take a look at a client of mine who was a picture framer and he had been struggling for about five years with a limited earning structure like I have just described. So I began to analyze his operation. He had a dusty factory and he produced picture frames. So he had only one product and only one revenue stream and he was doing all the work. So he had a limited earning structure and he was exchanging time for money. And this is the reason he was struggling. The first thing I did was turn his dusty workshop into a retail showroom. The idea was to turn the dead space into a revenue generator. So to do this, I set up his first joint venture partnership. I found a supplier of generic prints, a company who had a great variety of beautiful ready to go prints. They supplied the prints, the framer framed them and then stuck them all around his new showroom. This created product number two. Now customers could walk in, choose a ready to go frame and picture, pay and walk out the door. So this was the first revenue stream independent of his time. Next, I set up another joint venture with a company of ready-to-go canvas prints. They displayed all their canvas products in his showroom. This created product number three, and now customers could walk in, choose a ready-to-go product, pay and walk out the door. So this was the second revenue stream, now independent of his time. 
Next, I created another joint venture with the photographer. Now the deal here was the photographer could use the showroom floor space to set up displays of all her collateral. 21st weddings, family portraits, corporate shops, women's boudoir, etc. to advertise her photography business. How the joint venture worked was the photographer got all the photography work and the picture framer got all the framing work. This created product number four. So this was now business coming in the door without him having to do anything. And listen carefully, with the joint venture for every job the photographer got, the picture framer would receive a 10% commission. So now he had his first passive reoccurring income stream. Now the next product was a massive spinner. I introduced printed accessories into this business. Things like caps, fridge magnets, beer coolers, marketing packs for corporate events, t-shirts with photos on, cups, pens, etc. All those accessories that naturally go with photography and framing and pictures. This created product number five and was an additional revenue stream. And finally, I created a retail website, a, a website that sold all his products online. So now people could shop 24 seven and order their products. This created a, another revenue stream. And he was now making money while he slept on weekends and on holidays, regardless of whether he was in his warehouse or not, the orders kept coming in. So if we compare his original structure of one product and one revenue stream, and where his entire business was dependent on him and his time, and we compare this to his new business structure, where he has now multiple revenue streams adding profits to his business daily, and they are not dependent on his time. This is an unlimited earning structure. This is smart business. And this is how he went from struggling for many years to increasing his sales to $25,000 a month after just six months. Now, if you want to watch more joint venture real life case studies, like how Steve the plumber added an extra $68,000 profits in under a year doing joint ventures, and it's a lot easier than you think, and he didn't do any extra work, or if you wanna learn how I built a three and a half million dollar business in less than three years, working two days a week from a home office using joint ventures, and how you can build a $100,000 business in, in a year with limited capital revenue and expertise, and check out the videos in the links below. You'll be amazed at how easy this is using the power of joint ventures.